This is the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Kingdom of God. And one of the things that we have to do when we're wandering around looking at the kingdom is to, we have to try and understand how things actually work around here. It's a key point. How does it work? How does the kingdom of God work? And the best way I can tell you how the kingdom of God works is actually a lot to do with car aerials or car antenna, if you prefer that word. And I don't know if you're old enough, uh, I am, uh, if you're old enough to remember telescopic uh, car aerials, uh, 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 antenna mounted in the car fender, if you remember, because uh, cause today, of course, they have these, these twisted little woodsy things that they stick on top of the cars, but in the good old days, you had a big telescopic aerial, and... Um, the cheap end of the range, you, if you wound the window down, you had to reach out and put it up by hand, push it down. Um, but uh, people with um, posher view on life, uh, the, the techno whiz kids of the day, had a, a switch on the dashboard, on the dash, and, and they would, it was up and down, and they used to press it, click, and up would come your area, and they'd press it down, and down comes your area. And uh, even more IT super people actually had it connected into the radio so that when you switched the car radio on, then the power motor ran and actually pushed your aerial up. And when you switched it off, the power motor ran the other way and pulled the aerial down into your fender. And that's what happens in us. And you see, the importance of the car antenna uh, picture is this that what we tend to do as Christians is go through life very happily, praise God, wonderful, hallelujah, everything's great, until something goes wrong, and then we turn around and try and get God to do something to help. And an awful lot of what we do in the way that we construct our prayers, in the way that we use uh, other skills and so on, and Christianize uh, other things to help us to try and to get God to do something. We do all sorts of things, um, which we'll go into a bit more, so that you understand, uh, you know, make, make myself a bit clearer. But basically, the, the kingdom walker knows that actually grace is flowing all the time. It's because of Calvary. Calvary, the cross, what happened on the cross? was that Jesus has, has pushed all our sin to one side, so it now doesn't act as a filter anymore uh, to the grace of God flowing out of heaven. Um, uh, if you remember in the Old Testament, Jesus refers to it actually, God only healed a few people, Naaman the leper and people like that. But actually, if you look in the New Testament, you see Jesus never refused to heal anybody who came to see him. In the New Testament principle is very different. And the cross has locked those New Testament principles in place. So now the grace of God flows and flows and flows all the time. And the problem the church thinks it has is trying to get God to help out. But that's totally wrong. And looking at it in the wrong way entirely. Um, you see, God has done all he's going to do. He, he has organized with Jesus the cross of Calvary. And that has got anything out of the way. So now what's happening is that grace is flowing all the time. Our problem, folks, our problem is learning again the secrets of the kingdom of God. It's learning again how to receive what is being given. Yeah? So grace is pouring out of heaven all the time. Trouble is we don't receive it. It's like a broadcasting company are actually broadcasting 24-7. But you won't hear a thing on your radio unless you put your car aerial up. So you push up the car aerial, you will get it. If you push down the car aerial, you'll lose it. Uh, it really is not far off as easy as that if you're looking at this in a childlike way. Excuse me a minute. And the fun here, right, is that actually um, it's expectation, isn't it? Uh, if I expect God to pour grace into my life, I push my aerial comes up looking for it. And if I don't expect it, then my aerial comes down because I'm not looking for it. So expectation pushes my aerial up, and doubt and unbelief and stuff like that pulls it right down again. What pushes expectation up? The answer is proclamation, because quite simply, faith comes by hearing. I have to hear something. If you proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God to me, my aerial will shoot up. And that way, grace comes pouring in. 
And the one thing we have to remember, because um, doubting Christians do like to say, ah, you're telling me I haven't got enough faith to get healed. I never say that to anybody. I, I'm sure that, that I mean, I, I've seen plenty of non-Christians receive healing. So it isn't a question of faith as in how good a Christian are you. It's to do with one's expectation of God. And I could proclaim to anybody I like, Christian or non-Christian, as long as it raises the expectation of God, then grace can come in. It's very exciting, isn't it? So that's my job as a Christian. Proclaim the kingdom. Then your expectation rises and the grace that's already flowing out of heaven because of the cross can get into you. Wonderful, isn't it? And... Uh, the question therefore remains, yes, but, um, you know, faith comes up and um, belief and doubt put it all down again. Um, and, and what we need to know, just a simple thing to dwell on at this point, hitchhiker, rather than try and take apart or analyse into yourself, is by how much does a car aerial have to stick up out of the fender before it can receive the grace that's pouring out of heaven? The answer is by only a mustard seed. And that, if you've never seen one, is absolutely minute. I had one in the palm of my hand the other day. I could hardly feel it with the tip of my finger. It's tiny. It only has to stick up. It just has to show itself, really. God's very gracious. He doesn't demand any more than that. But just so the business of the kingdom walker is to raise expectation of God. And that's function of car aerials. And that's how the kingdom actually marches on. We work with God. What well, I work with God, what, and, and I want every Christian to do it, if when I come across an illness or something or disarray in somebody's life, I proclaim the kingdom of God, up goes their car aerials, the kingdom gets extended by the Holy Spirit into whatever is in disarray. Isn't it great? So I bless that to you in the name of Jesus.